The last video has given you an explanation for what work and heat are. Now what we do here is define the sign convention for that work and heat. This can be a little bit of a controversial topic because various fields have different sign conventions for work and heat. Right? What we're trying to define here is what is a positive work and what is a negative work and what is a positive heat and what is a negative heat. And again, various fields have different ideas for what those signs should be, even though uh, the numbers are always going to be the same. Okay, so we're going to, to take the chemical approach uh, in this definition, and that is to concentrate on the system. Right, so what we're actually going to, the way that we're going to define these signs is by tracking how energy is either gained or lost by the system. Right, so if the energy is, if the energy or the system is gaining energy, uh, then the work and heat will be positive, and if the system is losing energy as either work or heat, those works, uh, that work or, or that heat will be uh, negative. Okay, so let's try to uh, write that down and then uh, see a couple of examples. Okay, so suppose that this is your system. And uh, there's a couple of things that, that can happen. Again, you can transfer energy uh, out of the system as work and heat, right? So again, if the energy is lost by the system, right? Uh, you have your uh, work and heat transfer out of the systems, then these ones will be negative, okay? But if you are adding energy to the system or transferring energy to the system as work and heat, either or, then uh, the sign of that work and that heat would be positive because the system is gaining energy. All right, so uh, let's move away from this uh, dry definition and try to see a couple of examples that are going to be hopefully a little bit more clear. Okay, so let's go to the example of a gas here inside a uh, piston, right, in a cylinder with a movable piston and here you have your gas. Okay, so uh, suppose that we do something to that gas and this gas actually pushes out that piston, which is subject to some sort of external pressure. Right? So that would be a transfer of energy, energy as work. In this particular case, again, you're transferring energy, you're pushing up that piston. Okay, it's the same system, but you have pushed out that piston. Uh, to do that, you actually have invested some of the energy stored in that gas and transfer it out to the surroundings. Okay, so that will be a negative work. You're doing work from the system into the surroundings. The energy of the system decreases. Uh, the energy in the surroundings increases. So from the perspective of the system, that is actually a negative work. Okay, uh, so uh, let's actually do the exactly the opposite example, right? So suppose that now we start here, where you have that gas, and now we apply an external force and compress that gas. Well, in that case, uh, notice that it's the surroundings that is doing the work, right, onto the system. The system is gaining energy from that compression, right? That gas now is capable of doing more things. Uh, that uh, energy has uh, increased, and that means that the work in that case will be positive, right? So going this way, okay, a compression, that will be positive work. Now, for the signs of, of heat are going to be a little bit uh, easier, right? Uh, suppose that now you have an exothermic process. Okay, so let's go back uh, perhaps to a process in which you don't change the volume. There's, there's no work being done here. Uh, but for some reason, uh, maybe your initial temperature, T1 and T2, is uh, higher than T2, right? So, so there is a loss of energy as heat to the surroundings, that's an exothermic process that would be a negative heat. However, if you uh, put this uh, uh, you know, under a Bunsen burner or you transfer uh, some energy from a, a heat bath or something like that, then that would be a positive heat because it's going from the surroundings to the system and the system increases its energy. Okay, so uh, this sign convention is actually different than in other fields. I believe that in some engineering, perhaps in physics, people use exactly the opposite uh, uh, signs to define uh, uh, work and heat. Uh, but again, the important thing to remember here so that you don't get confused is that this is really easy to determine in the case of chemistry and the life sciences when you uh, consider the perspective of the system. If the system is gaining energy, 
then those will be either uh, positive work or heat. If the system is losing energy, then they will be negative, either work or heat. 